Hey guys, it's Fire Bonanza X here, and this is a really short tutorial on a thing within Python 3.3 called um, tuples or tuples, whatever you want to call them, really. And basically, what they are, they're the same sort of structure as a list, which is um, just two of these square type brackets. Tuples are contained within two just parentheses and separated with commas, the elements, I mean. Um, but Basically, the main feature of tuples is that they cannot be changed, they cannot be edited within the function, whereas a list you could like insert a certain element at a certain place. With a tuple, the only way to um, add an element to a list is can completely remake the tuple and add that element that way. So, if we were to make a tuple quickly, so let's just make it by separating a few elements, so one, two, four, five, like that. See the tuple here? This is the tuple, it's just two parentheses and every element is separated with a comma. Obviously you can do this with strings as well by just doing two parentheses and just like this. Obviously, just doing uh, quotations as well. But say we were to set an a, a tuple equal to a variable, which can be easily done. So just do x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5. Now the variable x is equal to a tuple with all those numbers contained within it. And what you can also do is say we had um, an x is equal to a tuple. Now see we have two parentheses here. What we can do is we contain we can contain tuples within tuples. So we could set, uh, do two tuples and separate them with a comma. So we could do one and two in this one and three and four in this one. Press enter now and that variable x is equal to a tuple that contains two tuples, one of them is one and two, one of them is three and four. See here, and just separate with a comma. You can also get this effect, so say we did um, a, which is a variable, and we make that equal to a tuple of one comma two, and we did a variable b, and set that equal to a tuple of three comma four. Now I set a variable uh, q equal to uh, the variables a, comma, b, and all this is is just making a tuple of the two variables a and b, which are just two tuples. So we just print out q. We get the exact same effect as this one up here, just with variables instead of um, with just the base string here. So tuples can be used in quite a few applications, especially if you don't want things to be changed. And you don't like sometimes you can change lists and stuff without noticing, but with tuples they can't be changed; they can be rewritten. From tuples you can also gain certain elements. So if we put an x here, and we just did two uh, square brackets that we used to declare lists, and so x is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Put an element zero. See we got back one. Obviously it just accounts. So this is element zero, number one. And one, two, three, four, etc. So the last element is number four. Element three will give us four, etc. You can use this to just gain elements from lists. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on tuples today. They're not a very big part of Python, but I need to teach you anyway, just because they are a part of Python. We will be using them every so often. I've used it before for a application that generates random, like numbers and strings and quotes and stuff. So you just contain like different uh, elements or strings within a tuple, or like three elements in a tuple, and you just randomise each one of those, and it just prints a single one out. I might show you how to do that somewhere, but not in this tutorial because I haven't. Well, it's not I haven't got enough time. I just haven't got anything to set up at the moment. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, next time we'll be talking about. I don't know really maybe more data structures, so dictionaries or something like that or whatever you guys suggest me to make just so keep messaging me and telling me what to do and telling me what to make and I'll do that for you uh, that's about it for today guys and goodbye